Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have to be honest with you, I have been putting off shooting this video for about five days now because I don't know what I loved in December. <laughs> I had like a week and a half off work and I just stayed in my pajamas the whole time playing video games. So I don't know if I've ever talked about this before. Originally I played the first Witcher game all the way through and then I played the second Witcher game all the way through and I've been working on the third Witcher game for a little over a year now because I just I know me too well and I know that if I start to play it I'm gone for 12 hours. Like once I start I can't stop until like my body gives out on me. So I'm very careful about when I play it and uh, because I've had a little bit of time off, I've been playing it, but then of course the show also came out recently. So I'm only about halfway through the show and they've done a phenomenal job. I have to admit, I was one of the ones who was a little afraid of the Henry Cavill casting at first. It's not that I was afraid of Henry Cavill, I was afraid of that teaser shot that they gave us where he had the terrible wig. <laughs> but it looks much better in the show, I promise. Um, I still wish he was scruffier, but other than that, he's done a fantastic job as Geralt. And I've really been enjoying the show, but I just keep playing the game. There's so many side quests in that game, okay? It takes forever, but it's so much fun. So that's what I've been doing all month is sitting here in my PJs, eating snacks and playing The Witcher and occasionally breaking from playing The Witcher to watch The Witcher. I really feel like Netflix did themselves a massive disservice with this one by putting it all out at once, like binge watchable, because I feel like the hype around The Witcher, I mean, it's not gone. It's definitely lasted longer than some other Netflix shows, but it's not what it could have been if they had put it out you know, weekly, the way regular TV does with things, you know, like imagine, imagine what it could have been. But like, after The Witcher came out, you came out, you know, and then The Mandalorian was still going on. And it's just, I feel like it got a little bit lost in the shuffle, and it shouldn't have been. And I know it was like one of the highest watched premieres or something like that, but I still, I feel like it could have been bigger. Speaking of Netflix is you, I have not watched season two of that yet. I am so behind on like everything Netflix. I have not watched you season two. Uh, I, there's so many documentaries and stuff that I want to watch that I haven't watched. Uh, I still haven't finished season four of Stranger Things. Season four? Season three. Season three of Stranger Things. There's... <laughs> I haven't seen like the last two seasons of Orange is the New Black. I am so behind on everything because I just keep watching Lord of the Rings. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, I don't know why I am this way. Uh, so pretty much, like I said, because I didn't really wear makeup very much for the month of December other than when I went to the food drive and went too much with glitter, uh, I'm just gonna mention the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, which is MAC Cosmo. This is one of their amplified lipsticks. I think I mentioned this briefly at the end of last month's favorites video because I just bought it that day. And I really like it. This is the, the lipstick that I throw on every day if I don't know what I'm doing. And then I also want to mention the ColourPop Eyebrow Gel because this has been pretty much the only thing I've been filling my eyebrows in with. If I really have a naked spot, I will use one of the ColourPop Eyebrow Pencils. But I bought this in the eyebrow kit last time I did a ColourPop order and I hadn't really used it because I was using the NYX one, but I finally used that up. And this, it's a really good deep sort of ashen black color. It doesn't have that sort of brown tint to it. And I just re really like it. It really does a great job of like coating my hairs, making my eyebrow hairs look darker. And so really all I've done all month is put on eyebrow gel, mascara, and then wear this lipstick. And if I had a really ugly pimple, I'd put concealer on it, but that's it. We had the food drive this month and that was fun. And then it was Christmas. I had a great Christmas. I got pretty much everything I asked for because all I asked for was pajamas because my pajamas were old and gross. I got a chapter two on DVD, which is something I really wanted that I asked for. So I got that and then I spent New Year's Eve I think I, I didn't even realize that like midnight was about to happen. I was just like derping on my computer watching like YouTube videos. And then my sister messaged me and she said, Happy New Year, I guess. And it was like 11.56. <laughs> so that, that's that. My plants are doing all right. I bought a new maiden hair fern because I killed the last one. Uh, and this one's dying as well, so that's great. So I'm thinking about buying a grow light and seeing if that helps with some of my other plants. And if the fern dies again, it dies again. I don't think ferns like light. So maybe I'm, maybe I have it too close to the window or something. I don't know. I managed to keep Roger alive, as I'm sure you saw last week, which is surprising because I've never owned a reptile before. Lena is also doing great. But looking ahead to 2020, I don't really have any magical plans this year. I really want to redo my sort of mood slash dream board because the one that I have on my wall behind you now, I made at the beginning of 2018 and I've just left it there because it was still applicable last year. And honestly, it's still applicable, uh, but I just feel like I should make a new one, especially because there, there's an airplane on that one, and that was because I knew I was going to New Zealand at some point. So now that that's done, I can take that off, because I don't really have, I'm not a 
wanderlust person. I don't really want to travel. I'll go if it comes up, but I don't have to, you know? It's funny because there's a picture of Lucy Wallace as Xena on that because I wanted to cosplay her, and my sister says that I, like, willed her to come to Fan Expo that year because I put her on the board. So if I do decide to make a new board, uh, I'll make that a video. That'll be great. You know, we, that's something that we can do together. My friend Alyssa and I are looking at attending a Reptile Expo together at the end of this month. Of course, because it's in January, the weather might be a little bit iffy, so that's why I said we're looking at it. If it ends up that it's like terrible weather that day, we're obviously not going to go because it's in Mississauga, and that's quite a drive, but if it's nice, we're going to go. And today I actually just ordered a new costume for this year. I don't want to tell you what it is, but I think you'll like it. Uh, I definitely feel like I haven't any added any new cosplays to my collection in a while. Like, I added Xena, and that was a big one, but other than her, I mean, I added Utena last year too. But, I mean, I'm not going to wear Utena that often because that costume is just so much. Like, because it's a jacket and a shirt and I just feel like it's a lot to wear and I'm not really into layers. I want to add a couple new costumes this year. At least two. And one of those two being I want to redo Wonder Woman and I want to make it movie version. Like the 2017 movie version, not whatever she looks like in this year's. I just want to do, I love that outfit. I just think it's cute and I want to... I want to do that and then I also just love the idea of having that Wonder Woman and Xena in my cosplay collection you know so I don't know other than a couple of new costumes and going to some more different pet type expos this year and then of course the regular sort of conventions fan expo anime north of course Katie and I were just talking about anime north this morning because it's time we start figuring that out uh, and then March Toronto Comic Con is probably going to be on my birthday again this year or something around, somewhere around there. So that'll be a thing. And then Niagara Falls Comic Con, the guy from Saw is coming to Niagara Falls Comic Con this year. So I'm very excited about that. Oh yeah, that reminds me, the new version of The Grudge comes out this weekend. And you need to understand that The Grudge is one of the few horror movies that I watched for the first time in my adult life that actually scared me, like, and gave me nightmares. So I'm, like, weirdly interested to see the new version because I was so scared of the other one. I remember seeing, maybe, like, there's a, a little bit of, like, a nostalgia factor, though, because I remember seeing the trailers for The Grudge movie when it first came out on, like, TV and that scaring me enough, so maybe finally seeing it scared me. But I feel like if I go see The Grudge in theaters. I'm gonna have to see it by myself because no one will go with me and I'm gonna have to see it like in the morning because <laughs> I'll need the whole rest of the day to like free myself from the clutches of terror. And that's another thing too is I want to be way spoopier way earlier this year. As you can tell I lost my uh, headrest cover so I've been using this this pumpkin scarf as sort of in the interim until my mom makes a new one and I just I really want to be like spoopy the whole year. I really just always want to use my pumpkin purse and I think I'm gonna do that you know I'm not a big New Year's resolution person because I don't think you need the arbitrary date of January 1st to do things if you want to set a goal and do it just go for it at any point so I keep joking that my New Year's resolution for 2020 is to get really good at a Kermit the Frog voice <laughs> because I can't do it and I would love to get good at that and believe me we're, we're gonna work on it but I'm like really not about her if I don't get good at it but there are definitely some like little goals for 2020 like I want to make sure that I'm really actually like religious about taking a multivitamin because I feel like I don't eat enough to get the sort of nutrients that I need so I'm gonna take a multivitamin I want to be spookier longer I want to be spooky the whole year <laughs> let's just get that straight okay spooky the whole year I mean, I always like watch horror movies and stuff, but I want to be more outwardly spooky the whole year. I always want to wear my pumpkin purse and that sort of thing. And if anyone says anything, well, I don't have a punchline. I, I don't have a punchline. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for this favorite studio because I don't have any favorites other than, I don't know, an eyebrow drill and a lipstick and The Witcher, the video game and the show. Let's go with that. That works. Oh, and I saw Frozen this month, finally. Frozen 2. No spoilers, I won't tell you anything. It was cute. The first one is better, uh, but it was cute. I really didn't love the songs immediately, but they have grown on me the more I've listened to them. It's cute. I'll give you that. Would I rush to go see it again? No. But I enjoyed seeing it, and I don't regret seeing it. So yeah, what are your plans for 2020? What are your sort of New Year's resolution -y type things? I would love to know. Going forward in this channel, I don't think very much is going to be different. We're going to keep doing Tuesday reviews, and we're going to keep doing random things on Friday, and then random things at any other time I have videos to upload. That's really one of the fun things about looking back on the previous year is looking at my analytics. And it seems like y'all really like my Tuesday reviews on more sort of 
less publicized products. And I'm kind of not surprised by that because that's kind of why I started them to begin with because, you know, everybody would always be talking about the newest launch from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but no one was talking about that remote eyebrow pencil that you've seen in the store a thousand times. So that's why I kind of started reviewing makeup the way that I do. And I'm not surprised that out of all of my videos, it's sort of the e.l.f. color correction kit and the way wave spray and those sorts of videos that get more views. And we're going to keep doing that. I actually would like to incorporate more drugstore reviews this year. Tell me what you think. Uh, mainly because it's cheaper, but also because I feel like that's more accessible to everybody, myself included, and not a lot of people talk about it. And I think we all kind of have makeup burnout a little bit because brands just keep shoving things in our face. So I wanted to review more staple things, like things that we see all the time, you know? And yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already, and I will see you next time. Bye!